Welcome to TFL Truck Madness. As you can tell, we're here at the drag strip where we've done something mad. We've brought together six competing trucks to drag race. So let's meet the competitors. First, we've got the Gladiator. Then of course, the Frontier. Next is the Ridgeline, followed by Andres Trail Boss Colorado. Of course, the Tacoma. And last but not least, the Ranger. That's six mid-sized trucks that all compete, but Andre said he's brought one more truck that will take on the winner of these six trucks. Oh my, Andre. What the heck did you bring? You brought, ah. you brought a bumblebee. No, so Ram currently does not make a mid-sized truck, so I thought I would bring one. Is that the V8? This is a 5.9 liter Magnum. All right, we've got ourselves a drag race, so let's get to it. Hey, Andre, I'm calling this bracket trusted and true because we've got the oldest truck here, but I'm not in it. You are. I'm in the brand new Nissan Frontier. And I am in the new Jeep Gladiator V6. So I also have a V6. And yours isn't all that new, by the way. Uh, that puts out 310 horsepower, 281 pound-foot of torque via a nine-speed automatic. And my Pentastar 3.6 liter produces 285 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque. And I think I'm still gonna win because of my off-road axle. I've got some retro goodness on this truck, which is gonna take the day. All right, let's do this. Good start. Good start. I'm launching it. Ooh, we're tight. Come on, Pentastar. But the Frontier is inching out, leaving the Gladiator and Andre to eat my Frontier dust. Oh, no. Come on, Gladiator. Here we go. Oh, yeah, he's in the dust. And... Whoa, just kept it in the 17s. So 17.95 uh, at 83 miles an hour. Here's my result. This is a mile above sea level. Wah, 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 Andre, what was your time? It was 18.25 at 79.1 miles per hour. Well, 17.95, I made it into the 17s. Now, if we were you know, at sea level and not a mile above sea level, you could probably subtract a second from those times. Yeah, well, I guess I need to get another truck so I can beat you. Hey, bracket number two, here we go. This video is made possible by our friend Scott O'Sullivan and the O'Sullivan Law Firm. If you, your family member, or your friend are in an automotive accident, you gotta call Scott first. He's very knowledgeable, he's a friend of ours, he's a great attorney. Use the link in the description of this video. There is also a phone number right there below, so you can call him and get it resolved. Now for this race, I brought something way more spicy. This is the all new 2024 Toyota Tacoma. So you think a four-cylinder turbo can beat the Frontier with its traditional six-cylinder, huh? Well, at least I'm hoping. I have 278 horsepower and 317 pound-feet of torque and very low-end torque. I have an eight-speed automatic and uh, I'm hopeful that I can crush you. Well, dude, I've got some retro cool happening here, so I am not sure you're gonna crush me, but let's do this. I'm in sport mode. I'm in uh, normal mode, because I don't have sport mode. Oh yeah, Andre's asleep over there. Oh, here comes his turbo. 
Come on, turbos! Might take me. Come on, Frontier. Oh, it's gonna be close. I need RPM. This is too close. It's way too close, but I'm taking him. Oh yeah, that that was way faster. That was way faster. Well, at first I was worried because we we're kind of neck and neck, but then I clocked a 17.07, so almost 16s, 87.7 miles per hour. Uh, nice work. All right, well, that is the first set of two brackets done. Shall we move on to the next bracket? Truck Madness, TFL Truck Madness. This is a huge video and it would not be possible without many friends, including Brighton Ford, Colorado. Use the link in the description below. They have a huge selection of brand new vehicles and also used ones. Andre, I'm calling this next bracket Honda-tastic and that's because I am driving the Honda Ridgeline. I'm calling it a mashup because you have a tradi well, not a traditional truck. I mean, you have a unibody V6 power truck pickup and I have a new Chevy Colorado Turbo. Well it's Honda-tastic because the Honda's going to beat you. So it puts out 280 horsepower, 262 pound-foot of torque, all powered by a nine-speed automatic. Roman, you're going to be crying at the end of this race because I have a high output version of this 2.7 liter four-cylinder turbo, 310 horsepower and 430 pound-feet of torque with an eight-speed. Yeah, but I'm the only vehicle here with permanent four-wheel drive. Permanent. I, I think you, they should disqualify you right now. All right. I'm in sport mode. Let's do this. at 86 miles an hour, so I'm, I'm moving up in trucks. I'm going quicker. All right, Andre, 1670 at 85 miles an hour. No, sorry, 86 miles an hour. Wow, that's interesting because I registered, I'm showing 16.64 second quarter mile at 89.8. And I have a newer solo, solo DL, so I must be right. By the skin of your teeth, dude, by the skin of your teeth. Uh, so, wasn't so Honda-tastic, was it? Well, I had a lot of torque, my friend. All right, well, get ready to uh, weep because I am bringing a vehicle that is brand new and I think is going to take this entire, entire TFL madness, truck madness competition. Thanks to our friends at the Colorado State University Drone Center who made this video possible. And if you guys want to learn how to fly a drone, click on the link below. Andre, my man, be prepared to suffer twice. Once because you're going to lose and the other time because you're going to lose in your personal truck. Because I'm in the brand new Ranger. I could see that. Oh my goodness, that's an all new 2024 Ranger. And listen and weep, my man. 270 horsepower, 310 pound foot of torques. Where's the torque? <laughs> 
I'm kidding. And of course, the 10 speed automatic. Yeah, but those numbers on paper don't are not very high. I'm, I'm not impressed. You know, Ford is the Porsche of the truck world. They always sandbag a little bit. So I think you'll be impressed once we cross the line. You ready to uh, weep a little bit in your Colorado? I'm ready. I've got all my uh, mode. Yeah, I'm in sport mode. Let's do this. Asleep. No, I fell asleep a little bit. Go shift, shift, shift. Why aren't you shifting? You fell asleep and it'll be close, and I'm still pulling away. Bye bye, Andre. Bye bye. Faster shifting. Oh. 16.13 and almost 90, 89.9 miles an hour. Not good. He's got less torque and less horsepower. Uh, did you fall asleep, Andre? Were you, uh, you know, were you just uh, getting your tissues out? I'm really upset because. I may have fell asleep by a fraction of a second, but what I saw was your truck maintaining acceleration, shifting nicely, and my transmission fell asleep for some reason. Ah, uh, blame it on the transmission. No, I'm serious, but I had the power and then those shifts were not coming fast enough, so... I'm just, I'm just bummed. All right, Andre, so that leaves one bracket before we bring on the classic truck, which is a V8, of course. Uh, and uh, what is that bracket? Well, the winner of the first bracket, which is the Taco, now needs to take on the winner of the, the second one, which is the Ranger. Yeah, the two newest trucks, go figure, are gonna go head to head. All right, go get yourself the Taco. I'm gonna line up with the Ranger and we'll see how this madness plays out. <laughs> Six trucks, Andre, it all comes down to this bracket. Well, this is the brand new turbo class leader in sales Tacoma versus your turbo. Yeah, isn't it funny how everything's gone from six cylinders to four cylinder turbos and it's gotten faster. Well, I'm ready. All right, so am I. start come on ranger come on taco you've got low end power oh yeah uh, bye bye blueberry oh, so i think it's it's the 10 speed love you but Hate to see you go. No, I don't. And there we go. Oh, oh yeah, across the line. 1659. 1659. Oh, I, I, I didn't have a chance. That Ranger is quick. Sheesh. 89 point. Oh, I can see it. I, 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 I don't know what to say. 1659, Andre, you know, but it's any given Sunday, or in this case, uh, middle of the week. Well, isn't that interesting? Because, I mean, this is the real world, right? I mean, trucks get hot, you know, sometimes change, but we're doing it side by side, which means you are the winner. Ford, like I said, they tend to sandbag. I wouldn't have been surprised that this thing actually, you know, pulls faster numbers than Ford officially states. But we have one more race to do for all of you Classic truck fans, right? Yeah, how about I bring something macho mucho with a big displacement? Yeah, bring on that 
Well, now it's a Ram, but back then it was a Dodge. Here comes the Dodge. I am driving a 1998 Dodge Dakota RT 5.9 liter Magnum. Yeah, you brought a Dodge to a gunfight. Yes, this is a this is like a cannon. Uh, and listen to these specs: 250 horsepower. I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but 345 pound-feet of torque, which is monstrous. Yeah, you do have a V8. I'm surprised that uh, Dodge. Now Ram walked away from the midnight truck segment because it's red hot as we're finding out. Dang, dude. Wow, you're actually spinning your rear tires. All right, shall we do this? Shall we see old? Let's call, let's be gentle. Let's call it classic versus new. How about that? I've been born ready. All right, all right, here we go. <laughs> I was kind of like he's taking off. Oh, oh God. Come on, Ford. Go. Come on, four speed. Four speeds. I think I can get him at the line. I don't want that in real estate. Here I come. Here I come. So close. <laughs> I still ran a 16, 16.65, even though I did kind of um, mess up the start. Ah. 17.17. At eight. Close, but yet so far, I think. <laughs> what are you talking about? You you were in my rear view mirror for like an hour. Yeah, but it depends not where I was, but where I ended up, and that was across the finish line first. Well, I clocked in 17.17 quarter. I could have fall asleep at the start. I had a 16.65 and 88.6 miles an hour. My top speed in the quarter was about 81, 81 miles an hour. So I'm, I'm thinking that even if we did it again, I, I, I'm thinking that you could probably have it still. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, but there's one question we have yet to answer, so uh, let's answer it. Who's better looking? So, which truck would you buy? <laughs> Andre, at the end of the last race, I asked you a simple question. Which of these six trucks would you buy? That's very simple because... Wait, 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 don't answer it. What? Because this is only a drag race and you can't really decide what truck to buy unless you tow with it, unless you off-road it. So, we're also gonna do an eye gauntlet, world toughest towing test. We're gonna off-road them and Maybe even do an efficiency test. It's madness! It's TFL Truck Madness. <laughs> Come on back next time for part two. I hope you're sitting down because it's the biggest video towing test we've ever done. It's big. Let's finish the chain hookup. 
Yeah, that's very easy. Now, what in tarnation is this yellow thing? So, Andre, this Chevy Colorado, this is your truck. Why is it so filthy? We have 38 and a quarter. Two and a half, could that be? Cool. Let's check out the seats. Yes. You always want something that's a comfortable ride for a long time. They're not, none of them are easy to get a cowboy hat in.